and uh, although they do go up my butt a little bit, that's fine. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 here. Hello, hello, happy Sunday, what is up? Today, uh, yes, I'm in a new location. I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey. I'm filming on concrete floors, and so I'm, it's gonna be, yeah, yeah, sorry. But yeah, I'm actually filming in my new office, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, which is Alex Sunshine 83, John and I are going to be moving. It's probably gonna take about a month, but I'm able to kind of like start setting up some things. And I am filming like an office makeover video, so you'll be able to actually see the entire process and all that jazz and I'll talk a little bit more about like what's going on with my living situation and everything but that's not why you are here today today you are here to see oh goodness probably my biggest thrift haul ever I think altogether I probably have like 25 to 30 items I honestly don't really thrift that much I feel like a lot of people think I thrift more than I do but I will say the past two months I have started um, going through a little bit of an identity crisis I usually do around my birthday which if you guys don't know my birthday is in August so I feel like a lot of these items maybe show that I don't know I feel like they do kind of like go with my natural style but some of them are a little bit of curveballs some of the stuff is from like actual thrift stores vintage stores depop let me just show you how absolutely ridiculous like Oh my gosh. So grab a snack, grab a coffee, gosh darn, grab some water because you're gonna need to be hydrated because uh, this is gonna take a while. Let's start this out, not with a bang. Um, this one, okay, when it comes to basics, I feel like they're really overlooked at the thrift store. You think like, oh no, like when you go to the thrift store, vintage shopping, you wanna get interesting, exciting, spicy items. But a lot of times they have a lot of really nice, just plain pieces. And so this one is originally from Wild Fable. It is a medium and I got it for $8. It's just kind of like a cute little baby tee. It's kind of more of a vanilla, vanilla, a French vanilla white, kind of like an off-white. It's not a super bright, cooler white. It's more of a warmer white and I've fallen in love with just a good plain white t-shirt. I don't know. They just make me feel the most comfortable and I've really lately been trying to figure out what makes me feel the most me and surprisingly a white like tight crop top or just t-shirt plain just makes me feel like myself. Like I said, I'm going through kind of like an identity crisis. I did also forget to say you've probably seen a lot of these items in my alpha videos. I really try when I throw something which maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, I don't really know, to not wear it until I haul it, just because it's easier for when people ask like, oh, where'd you get that? Because it's 99%, honestly, 100%, likely that I thrifted it. So waiting until it's in a haul just makes it easier to explain. But I bought the clothes, so I can wear the clothes, so I'll wear the clothes. This one I have already worn, but I got it for $11. It's originally from Zara. I just thought this one was so cute. I'm not really into like ties, but there was something about this one where it is honestly perfect for summertime. I mean, summer is literally in full swing right now. So like my body is sweating. I probably should have been wearing this instead of a sweater, but I really, really love this. I think it's a very just easy piece. It is quite interesting because of the pattern. I really like the material. It's not like a super stiff material or thick material. It just kind of lays on your body and then you can kind of adjust how scandalous you want it to be. This top, it actually had the original tag, which was from Kohl's for $36 and I got it for $8.49. It is a medium and it's originally from Hurt Soul and I just really, really like this color again I've already worn it in a video but the reason why I got it is because I actually want to thrift flip it maybe make it into a little bit more like a crop top I could also just keep it how it is and like tuck it in but I had some ideas I have purchased like a couple of things the past couple of months that I am planning on thrift flipping I've just been waiting until I had a space to be able to take out like my sewing machine and like make a mess but I do just absolutely love that it has little sparkles in it and the color is really nice it's kind of like this burnt orange this one I I feel like it's just a classic. Like you see it and you're like, yeah. Got it for $8 and it's originally from Ambience and it is in a small and it's just this like polka dot puff sleeve top. Honestly, puff sleeves will just never go out of style in my heart. I have basically almost like 
two tops that if you combine them together, it literally makes this top. So felt like it was like their child. I really love the polka dots on, well, it's on the entire top, but especially on the sleeves, I just feel like it's so nice and it's very breathable as well because it is basically like netting. So there's a bunch of holes. So the armpits uh, can breathe, which is always good for us sweaty gals. This top is so freaking cute. And it's actually pretty funny because in this Sunday's video, you are going to see something that I thrifted that's really similar to this. I got it for $9 and it is originally from Impact. And look at how cool this top is. It's like a sweater vest built in with like a floral sleeve under it. It is so freaking cute. It definitely reminds me of cottagecore, but then also like the 90s. I really like the pastel blue and it has shoulder pads. So I am so excited about this one. Okay, yes. It's summertime, but I couldn't pass up these faux leather pants. When I tell you that these fit like a dream, they fit like a freaking dream. And I actually went thrifting with my friend Karina Gomez like a month ago, randomly, we were hanging out at a park and we were like, oh, let's go thrifting real quick. And I just hit the gold mine. These pants are just so amazing. They're originally from Pretty Little Thing and I got them for $16.50. Definitely a little bit pricier when it comes to a secondhand piece, but I think we went to Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads, something like that in Orange County. They had their dressing rooms open, so I was able to try them on and they are just so freaking amazing. On the waist, perfection. The legs, amazing. I have been really wanting to find like the perfect pair of faux leather pants and it has been a journey with thrifting them especially because in most places I couldn't try them on in the dressing room whereas this one they did have the dressing rooms open so I was able to try it on and I just cannot wait until it's a little bit colder to rock them because I think faux leather pants or like leather looking pants specifically almost more of a boot cut is kind of like a staple that I've wanted in my wardrobe. I've probably been looking for the past year and I finally found the perfect ones. Then actually at the same place I got those faux leather pants, I found these pants, which I don't, I actually have a lot of pants, which I'm quite surprised. I found these Liz Claiborne. They are in a size eight. They were $16.50, but they are beautiful. They are these kind of velvet. I wouldn't say that they are the mom jeans. I don't really know how to explain them. I would classify them as almost like a mom jean style look because they are too long and they do kind of have that mom jean silhouette. My goodness, they're high-waisted they fit me perfectly and uh, although they do go up my butt a little bit that's fine <laughs> I just honestly cannot wait until I can rock these more they are a little bit hot right now they are just such a beautiful beautiful color and style and fit and I freaking love them I'm gonna just show the last piece I ended up thrifting at that thrift store where I found the faux leather pants and the yellow velvet pants I found this corset that my goodness yes I probably paid a little bit too much, but honestly, probably not. Because if you're on Depop, you've probably seen the style corset for like $60. And I got it for $28, which I didn't realize until I went up to the cash register, but it's honestly beautiful. This is exactly what I've been looking for, honestly, for the past year, this exact one. I actually did thrift another corset, which I will get into uh, soon, but this one is like the ultimate. I feel like when you think of a corset, it's kind of the style. I do really love corsets. I feel like they add such a nice elegance and like luxury and you could put them with even just a leather blazer or you can wear them on top of a t-shirt to kind of dress up a t-shirt. I feel like the styles of corsets are honestly endless. Switching gears a bit uh, from a corset to a button up. This one I ended up thrifting for $11.99. It's originally from Ralph Lauren and I freaking love this. I really want to get into more button ups. I mean, I've gotten into them kind of here and there, but styling them with just some jeans or just wearing them with like a tank top unbuttoned, I think is also a really cute look. And I am always down for a good yellow top. So this one, I was like, yes, this is perfect. And I'm very particular with my button ups as well. They have to be a very specific material. This one, it's not 
linen, but it kind of gives that very breathable feeling. I find some button ups are then too thin and they just feel like kind of off. Oh, it is linen. Huh, it's linen. No wonder I like it. Honestly, linen has been an underrated fabric for me. I was always kind of like, uh, I don't know about it because I find that it wrinkles a lot easier, but it just feels so nice. I kind of feel like I'm either going golfing or barbecuing for my children. To pair quite nicely with that one, I have this just plain yellow button up. It was $8. This one, again, it's just a really nice yellow button up. This one is definitely more of a, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, do you see the difference in yellows in these two? I definitely see it. This one has like a little bit more green in it, whereas this one is definitely more like a like a yellow. I did end up getting a skirt, which was $8. And this one I love so much. I've been wanting to find a kind of like maxi style floral skirt because I feel like they look so nice with just a crop top or even just a crew neck. But if you put them with a like loose fitting t-shirt that's untucked, I think it is so beautiful with some docks. It is just such a nice kind of silhouette and style and is very just wearable and nice during some summertime because you have nothing like constricting to your body. It does have a slit, which I have been like, uh, like a love hate relationship with slits. I finally realized that they do add a much needed like break in a skirt because sometimes it can just seem so up and down. So having just a nice slit there that lets your leg kind of out, you know, and also lets in enough wind and air down there. Um, and this is something that I definitely just wear, honestly, like day to day, just to the grocery store with a t-shirt. <laughs> this dress I got for $9.99 and it is originally from the company Classic Apparel. And it's just this denim, really cute dress. I actually am obsessed with it. I originally got it because I was going to thrift flip it. I may still, I think making it a little bit shorter will be nice because it's not a midi dress, but it's not a mini dress and it's not a maxi dress. It's somewhere in between and it kind of annoys my eyes a little bit where it hits. So I think I will be making it just a little bit shorter, which should be quite easy. I mean, I guess that's not really even like a thrift flip. You're just making it shorter, but I really love the white flowers embroidered all over the chest area. I think it adds also a really nice kind of like shape to it because it kind of goes in right where the chest kind of begins. And I think it is so beautiful. <laughs> this was $12 and is originally from New Chef and they are in a small and these pants are just so freaking interesting. They are a black and white guinum, which I'm all about a good guinum pattern. They have a like tie at the waist and it's just really interesting because they almost seem like they should be sweats, but they aren't sweats because of the material. And then they also have a zipper. So it's like they're pants, but like, are they pants? They actually look really nice with a belt as well. And the way that they kind of go in at the waist is so beautifully and really good if you want to wear something that's tighter on the waist, but you don't want to wear denim because it's too like constricting. These are like my new go-to. Oh my God, they even have butt pockets. That's amazing. I love butt pockets. These pants I also got for $12. They are originally from Raffaella and they say that they are in a size eight, but I'm usually like, a size four to six and they fit my waist literally perfectly. And they definitely remind me of the yellow pants where they're kind of like a softer material, but these ones, I think they're corduroy, but I freaking love them so much. They give me that dark academia, fall time look that I am honestly so excited to style come like October time. They're definitely longer than the yellow pant. They actually hit my ankle, which usually never happens. Now this piece, is beautiful. I got it for $16, which again, a little bit pricey for the thrift store, but they are such a precious pair of overalls, which if you guys remember like over a year ago, I used to be so obsessed with overalls. And it's not that I just like fell out of love with them. I just realized a lot of the overalls I owned didn't really fit me the way that I wanted them to fit me. So I kind of made sure in my head if I ever found another pair of overalls to make sure that I really liked the fit. And finally, I I found some that I really do. I have my Winnie the Pooh overalls and now I have these overalls and they're originally from Motherhood and these cute little floral overalls. Like, are you kidding me? They're so adorable. Look at the little florals on the leg. That is so freaking cute. They do make me 
kind of feel like a toddler, but sometimes I want to feel like a toddler, okay? Another piece that makes me feel so freaking whimsical, holy moly, is this dress. It's originally from Forever 21. I thrifted it at Plato's Closet for $10. It did have the original Forever 21 tag, which was $19 on it. And I actually wore this to Disneyland and I just felt so cute. I love a good baby doll like silhouette. I know some people don't think that they're very flattering, but for me, I don't know, I really like it. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a precious dress. And I think I've worn it a couple of times already in some styling videos. And a lot of you guys seem to also really like it. It has these really cute silver polka dots all over it. They're kind of like a shiny material. Surprisingly, they haven't like shed or anything. I was really like, oh, originally from Forever 21, is it the best material? But it honestly has held up so well. And I think even styling it either by itself or layering it is really nice. I think that's what I did when I went to Disneyland. I like layered it on top of a black t-shirt to kind of make it a little bit more casual. And I think it's just such a precious dress. Now to keep to the fact that obviously it's summertime. I found these shorts, which were $12. They aren't like the thickest denim. It's kind of, I don't know if you guys remember, like the paper bag top style jeans and shorts that were really big, like two years ago. They kind of remind me of that. I thrifted them just from Plato's Closet and I got them because they're really comfy. Sometimes I just, I want to wear shorts, but I don't want to wear like my proper denim shorts that are a little bit more constricting. I want something that almost feels like I'm wearing just like sweatshirts shorts so that's where these come in it does make me feel like i am wearing a diaper which that's an interesting feeling. If you guys remember when I was talking about the cream corset, I talked about another corset that I thrifted, which I have been wanting to buy this corset from like Depop and Poshmark, I think for like eight months or something. I mean, I originally saw it on actually like the Urban Outfitters website and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. So I've been scouring Poshmark and Depop for it, but some of them are like $80 and I think the original price of them is like $50. So it's definitely like an expensive corset just in general, but then they're going for like $80. So the fact that I found it at Plato's Closet for $16 is actually really good. It is this cute little corset. It's a nice kind of a dusty blue. It's like a pastel dusty blue. I freaking love it. And I have been literally looking for this exact one. If you guys remember at the beginning of 2021, I did a like online thrift with me and I literally saw this on Poshmark and I was like, oh, I really want it, but I don't want to spend like $80. Well, I didn't have to spend $80. It is in a medium, which I would say for my chest size, I probably would have needed more of a small because it does seem like it needs to be filled out a little bit more, but that's okay. I would most likely wear it, honestly, on top of a t-shirt, which I am doing in the like try on portion. Basically the opposite of that corset, I found this t-shirt of, I don't remember how much it was, maybe it was like $6. It's a Dunder Mifflin uh, t-shirt and and I don't have too much to say about it. I just wanted to um, show you guys because that's the type of gal that I am. I'm a corset gal and a t-shirt gal. I can do both like most women because we are multidimensional and have different interests and different likes and we don't need to just be feminine or like more masculine. We can be all over the place. You wear whatever the heck you want, whatever makes you happy. Just wanted to remind you of that. I've definitely been into a lot of different like style of dresses, but my heart will always be with like slip dresses. So this one is a beautiful mint green. I don't think you'll be able to see it actually on camera. Like it just isn't going to do it justice. I got it for $5.99 and it is just so freaking pretty. Like it is kind of like a midi dress, I would say. It doesn't go all the way down, but even the detail on the bottom part, it is such a nice like little scallop edge. I love it literally so much. It's actually probably the thickest material slip dress that I have now. I mean, not that it's super thick, but it isn't see-through, which I find sometimes slip dresses aren't quite see-through. So oh, this dress is insane. Like it's mind blowing how absolutely beautiful it is. It was $12, but it did have the original Forever 21 tag on it, which it originally was $34.99, then it was on sale for $24, and I got it for $12. And this is just such a nice pattern. Like, 
I don't even know why it was on sale. It's such a beautiful dress. It kind of has that same like silhouette as the other white polka dot dress that I already showed, but it has puff sleeves and it just feels very like Victorian looking. It does have, a, have an elastic on the end and it is a little bit tight, which is good because it makes the sleeves a lot puffier because it's able to like grip on your arm and then like push up. And again, like I said, I love a good puff sleeve. I definitely scored on the puffy sleeves at the thrift store because I also found this one, which I have already worn in a video, but I still want to show it. It was $11 and the original brand is Love Notes. It is in a medium and it's just this really cute puffy sleeve floral top. I really like it because it isn't a peplum style, but it also is kind of like a peplum style. I've been trying to get into tops where I don't tuck them in, which is such a weird concept to me because I'm so used to like tucking in all of my tops, but I do really like the silhouette of it. The puff sleeves are so nice. They keep the shape so perfectly. And and also the way that the chest area is, it's not going to allow the puff sleeves to fall down. I find some puff sleeve tops kind of annoying because sometimes they can be the right size, yet the shoulder area, like my shoulders aren't broad enough, so then they just fall down and it's so frustrating. So this one, it literally is perfect. I love the way that it hits. We are in summer, but this cardigan was screaming my name. And then when I felt it and I realized it doesn't shed, it made my day, it made my day, it made my week, it made my month. It is originally $8.49. It doesn't have a brand on it. I randomly went to Savers. I forgot what I was, I think I was looking for something with home decor and I just happened to look in the sweater section, which is very small. I don't know about you guys, but all of my thrift stores like don't put out any sweaters during summertime, which I mean, I guess that makes sense because probably not a lot of people are buying sweaters, but like there's literally like not a sweater section at all. I think there was like a small little section of cardigans. So that's where I found this one. It is this just super lemon yellow cardigan. It's a longer cardigan. It doesn't have any buttons and it really is just a nice, easy, just throw on cardigan. It isn't itchy. It doesn't shed. Like I'm telling you the fact that it doesn't shed is such a big deal because I just find most cardigans shed. It's pretty normal for like sweaters to shed. And I remember I was like doing something with my laundry and I was going to wash it and I like put it on top of a black t-shirt and I was like, oh no, like the fuzzies are going to come off and they did not come off. Okay. Now we're going to get into some accessories and one of the items that is, is literally my favorite item out of everything that I've shown in this video, which I have loved a lot of things, but this one is definitely number one, but I'm going to save it for last because we saved the best for last. But this belt is still like, I mean, it's really awesome it's the best as well so i mean everything is the best but you get what i mean this belt was eight dollars and it is this beautiful cream gold belt and you guys know i love belts i've been wanting to get more into like different colored ones because i have black ones or i have one black one and then like two brown ones and that's kind of it. And I feel like belts just really add a really nice accessory and it's been something that I just always really loved about. So I wanna get into more like different styles and different patterns and different colors. So this one is just so perfect and I feel like it really makes a statement. Like, oh my God, it is so pretty. Oh, it's Liz Claiborne. No wonder, it's from the gal, Liz. The next ex ex accessory, accessory. Why can't I say accessory? I cannot speak today. The next accessory, it's a bag, it's a bag. I thrifted it from ThreadUp. It's originally from Urban Outfitters. It was $28.99, but it is this pearl bag. It was originally $34. It literally has the original tag on it. So like $28 actually isn't that big of a difference. And they said it was $74. Anyway, we're not going to pay attention to that too much. Uh, this bag is honestly really, really cute. I have had my eye on this style for quite a long time, but I really wanted to find it secondhand. And it is quite nice that it has like the original Urban Outfitters tags on there. How like realistic is it to wear a bag that's like this, that's kind of small, especially for somebody like me that likes a lot of snacks? I don't know, but it's about the fashion. Yeah, which I'm usually not that person to buy a bag just for like fashion purposes. I mean, I literally mostly just wear a backpack, but I wanted to step outside the box. I will get the wear that it deserves, okay? And like I said, I saved the best one for last and 
They are these pink cowboy boots. Like what? Look at how freaking cute these are. I thrifted them on Depop for $75. Uh, they were on sale. They were originally supposed to be $100 and I got them for $75, which is pretty nice. I got them from the Depop account July Hampton and they shipped really fast. They're in really good condition and they are my size, which has been quite difficult to find. Honestly, shoes in general secondhand, but especially cowboy boots. I have seen so many people with their cute little vintage cowboy boots and I'm like what the heck I want some they are even a little bit big which is quite surprising usually thrifted shoes are too small but oh they were in a size 10 which I'm usually like a size nine and a half to a 10 sometimes that can be an 11 though and sometimes it can be a nine it just depends on the shoe and I think because this part is so long that's why they are a little bit big but it's nothing too bad I got some inserts to put into them to make them a little bit like smaller and yeah these ones have so much personality I mean you literally look at them you're like wow that is a cool gal Whew, okay are you still here because I barely am thank you guys so much for watching and just hearing me talk about thrift clothes obviously I try not to do a lot of thrift hauls especially like back to back just because I am trying to be more intentional when it comes to purchasing all these I purchased for a specific reason and I've thrifted in the past like two months so like I said I didn't purchase them all at once but I will be doing a like thrift with me on Sunday so sorry they are like back to back with moving stuff and everything some of my just like schedules have been all over the place so thank you for just like sticking through it with me but let me know in the comments right down below which item was your favorite I've already said my favorite item and if you would like to continue to see my face then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram alex and 83 to keep up to date with me during the week i will see you guys on sunday with a brand new sunday sunday video i hope you have a super sunny day enjoy life be happy and i love you lots bye